Now there are two components to the Nexus 1000. One component is what we call the Virtual Supervisor Module that takes care of the centralized command and control and the iOS CLI for the entire Cisco uh, Nexus 1000 V switch. The other piece is what we call the Virtual Ethernet Module. This module exists on each one of the hosts and that handles packet forwarding, that handles um, uh, enforcing policies, uh, it, handle, it handles quality of service, all of the day-to-day -day operations of moving traffic. But everything is still controlled by the supervisor module. So to a network administrator, this is going to look a lot like a traditional Cisco chassis. You will have one or two supervisor modules, we support redundancy, that control everything that you would log into and use your familiar iOS CLI commands or work with your familiar network management tools on. And then you'd have the virtual Ethernet modules that would all look very much like a line card on, say, a Cat 6K chassis to a network administrator. Port Profiles is the new feature we've added to the Nexus 1000. Instead of setting up the configuration for a port, you would instead set up that configuration as a sort of policy, a port profile. So you'd set its VLAN, you'd set which access lists it needed, NetFlow policies, um, whether you wanted port security turned on, all of those other things would be set up in a port profile. When that virtual machine is actually powered up or moved, that port group has with it all of the policy it needs to be able to come up on where, whichever host it powers up on and have all the right policy, have all of the right, uh, be on the right VLANs and be you know, separated from anything that it's not supposed to touch. During a vMotion, the, the Nexus 1000 V Virtual Ethernet module is integrated with vSphere in such a way that we're notified of the vMotion. We move the network policy along with the virtual machine over to the new host. And by the time that port is online, it has all the policy it had before. We have new Cisco CLI commands that allow you to go and see who's using which port profile. Where is this VM or which uh, virtual ports are on this physical host right now? So we can go and find the virtual machine that is, say, maybe using a little too much bandwidth or maybe somebody is having trouble with. Most of the commands are nearly exactly the same as you'd see, see on, say, a Cisco 7000 or on an iOS uh, CLI uh, for doing all of the traditional access lists and things like that. Uh, you can show your Ethernet ports just the same way. There's some extensions. Now, instead of just physical Ethernet ports, we have VETH ports, virtual Ethernets. And you can go see what VM is using them, what their statistics are, just like any other type.